Hey everyone, welcome back to another Salmon Run Tips video. You can find the other Salmon Run and other multiplayer tips like Rainmaker, Tower Control, etc. in the video description below. If you already know these tips, great, but there are still people that don't practice these things. Now before I move on to the next tips, I want to elaborate on Salmon Run tip number 10, Mama Ship. I should have clarified that when you're using the stinger, you can start shooting at the Mama Ship and stop it way before it gets near the basket. So shoot early with the stinger. Also, if someone is using the stinger on the mama ship, everyone else should just focus on getting the eggs and not shoot at the mama ship because the stinger alone is enough to knock it back. You don't need more than one person shooting at it if someone is using the stinger. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's continue where we left off in the previous video. Number 16, stay near the basket during a Goldie Rush. In Goldie Rush, a random player is swarmed with glowflies and will attract the Goldie and Salmonids. If you become the target and you're not near the basket, do your best to get there because remember, wherever you go, Goldie goes, so stay near the basket and your teammates won't have to travel far for the eggs. Number 17. Jump up to grab the egg. Whenever you splat a boss, the egg shoots up into the air and then floats back onto the ground. You can actually pick up the egg while it's in mid-air before it touches the ground. Just touch the egg while it's still in the air, and voila, it's yours. You don't have to wait until it falls to the ground. Let's take a look at that again. As you can see here, the eggs are clearly still in the air, but because I jumped and booped it, I was able to grab it before it touched the ground. This isn't going to save that much time, but every little bit counts. Number 18. Group up with fallen teammates. If you and another teammate needs to be revived, Try to stick close to that teammate and move towards help. If you do that, your other teammate can easily revive both of you in one shot, like so. And he or she doesn't have to worry about scrambling to find you guys. Number 19. When to shoot the Drizzler's missiles. The Drizzler shoots a missile that if left unattended, will burst into an ink storm. You probably know you should destroy the missiles, but there are times when you shouldn't bother destroying them. Really? Yaha, really? The Drizzler shoots its missile in a random direction, and if your teammates are not in that direction, don't waste your time shooting down the missile. The ink storm that comes out of it won't even do anything because you guys aren't in its path. Take this clip for example. This Drizzler is aiming its missile nowhere near my teammates. They're on the left side of the screen. Instead of shooting the missile, just go for the Drizzler. I mean, why waste time shooting the missile when the Ink Storm is going nowhere near my teammates? So when you're fighting the Drizzler, take notice of where it's aiming. Are any of my teammates in its path? Yes? Take the missile down. No? Splat the boss. It's that simple. Number 20. Don't wait for the propeller platforms on Salmonid Smokeyard. If your teammate takes a propeller platform and goes to the other side, kind of like this except that I threw a bomb to make it go to the other side, don't just stand there waiting for it to come back because it actually sits on the other side for quite a bit before coming back, as I'm going to show here. Yeah, that took a long time. Instead, if you have a long range weapon, you can shoot the other propeller platform and have that one come to you. Or, and I prefer this one, go to this middle spot right here and just jump to that platform your teammate took. That's it. No waiting whatsoever. Anyway, that's it for now. If you found this helpful, please share it so we can all get better. Thank you. Love you all. Bye.